why, you know, as mayor, I, I was proud to be part of, of this successful endeavor. You know, it shows Utica is kind of a, a hip town, you know. We're hanging cupcakes from Brooklyn, and we love Utica. We're in love. Utica's got the arts, it's got the culture activity that you need, it's got the restaurants, it's, it's got the nightlife, we've got it all. the Black Crows at Saranac and then stopped down and I saw about four or five bands. There was Winslow. I saw a band from London. Um, I saw another band from Texas and right now we've got the main stage set up down there with a great five-piece band. We've got a folksy reggae band right behind me and every venue on the street that has an outdoor patio has small bands. So you walk down the street and there's actually seven bands playing at once, which is amazing. for five hours. Did that fall down? No, there's no one in the street. We get to this beautiful venue. There's no one there. We start playing. I open my eyes. The place is packed. We go outside. There's this cool band playing and everyone's, you know, walking around, drinking, eating. It's a really amazing vibe. We want to come back here in a month. We're coming back for sure because this was the best show we've had in ages. This is Utica, New York, upstate New York, centrally located in New York State. We are within a day's driving range from 20 million people. This event has tremendous potential, and this can be a, a not only a regional, but a northeastern uh, music and arts event that draws upon metropolitan areas from around the Northeast, and it can draw in some of the biggest, best rock and roll acts that, that are in the United States and even from around the world. I've talked to the organizers of this event about doing some of this stuff, and you know, the ideas, the plans are, are there. Um, the vibe's there too. So, where's this going in the future? It's going in really good places. has it all.
So my idea was the Utica Greens Festival, celebrate um, a local dish. All these bands are in from all over the country. Show them uh, how we eat here. Uh, the Green Fest definitely working out, definitely in for next year. I think it added another element to the uh, festival. And it provides a place to eat. Greens Fest was a great idea. One of the things that I thought was great about the Greens Fest was uh, traditionally the Varick Street and Historic Brewery District is an area that is full of um, eating and drinking establishments. What was very noticeable during this three-day music event was that there were kids out on the street, um, crafts, vendors out in the street, um, restaurants from around the area uh, came here to the downtown Utica area, to the Varick Street area, and they they uh, showed off what they can do from a culinary perspective. Um, kids were doing sidewalk art. Uh, people were coming in from, from the region, um, not just to eat and drink, but to experience some of the culture that's, that's uh, here in Utica.
town and they see it for what it is and, and they just love it. In fact, I just ran into a couple on the street and somebody called me mayor and I turned around and they go, are you the mayor? And I said, absolutely. And they said, this is a great event. This is, we love you to get. And, uh, and I, you know, I just like to hear that they love being in Utica. And, you know, we take it for granted, but this is a great town. We got some great venues going on and, you know, it's only going to get better.